Jerusalem was under siege for two years. They couldn't go anywhere. They were hidden behind the walls. They were totally locked up. Food was running out. A famine was beginning to occur. And the Babylonians were ready to breach the walls of the city. Two years locked up with no place to go. If you're like me, I'm complaining about being locked up since March. <laughs> it's not easy because we want to do what we, are call, what, what we do. We want to go to work. We want to go out to visit family. We want to go on vacation. We want to, uh, to be with friends and to do all kinds of things, but we can't. And yet for a while, we were under siege. Hopefully, rather than being conquered, we will find new life, we will find health, and this pandemic will come to an end. But in the meantime, I think one thing I, that I had to learn is to be patient. You know, you can only clean the room so many times before it's too clean. But I think maybe it gave me the opportunity to re-examine what values are in what I have, what values I hold in my life, and maybe strengthen those values. I had more time to pray because I was not busy about many things. And I'm sure that as we evaluate what has occurred these past few months, that we will emerge as a better, more faithful people. And know that in spite of the fact that we have been under locked down for so long, that the Lord is with us in our time of need. Jesus healed the leper in today's uh, gospel. He actually touched the untouchables and gave hope that there is new life and a better way of doing things. So we pray for, let us pray for all those who suffer during this time of, 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 of worry and fret, that we might all be free to worship God and move on with our lives in a very special and in a new way, in many ways, that will make us a better people and maybe make the world a better place to live.